60 eggs and 6 days for one man. Is it possible to do this challenge or fast? What is up guys, it's good to see you. My name uh, is Pastor Robert, uh, Keto Warrior aka here and I want to tell you something that I did this week. It's called the Egg Fast Challenge and if you're not familiar with the concept, it means you're eating basically just eggs for each egg you're consuming, you're gonna uh, consume as well one tablespoon of fat, uh, healthy fat, and optional, you can add one ounce of cheese. That's pretty much it that you will have in the next couple of days. And the reason behind it, there's, there's some science behind it, but there are also some misconceptions and things that you have to know before you're considering this challenge. So let's jump into it and think about What's the reason behind it? Firstly, to start, because you will think of yourself eating only one type of uh, thing for a, a couple of days, every single meal, it's for sure it's not healthy. And I cannot uh, argue with or uh, disargue with this because, yeah, certainly the variety is really good and to eating only eggs, it might be not the best option, but the reason why you're doing it is essentially you're eliminating all the carbohydrates behind it so even those which are coming from some vegetables so you're basically having a really good uh, profile of uh, protein a one-on-one -on -one ratio of protein to fat in the uh, eggs and you might be afraid of cholesterol which is containing so-called cholesterol you know uh, in the eggs but you have no reason for that because an egg and basically you're eating 9 eggs, even though you're eating 9 eggs, which equals a thousand uh, milligrams, or a bit more maybe, of cholesterol a day, that cholesterol basically is just will be a bit subtracted of the daily amount you're producing anyway, because I told you before, if you didn't saw my cholesterol, well, go on and watch it, so every day your body is producing 25 milligram, uh, 2500 milligrams of cholesterol every single day what happens when you're consuming fat and cholesterol your body is producing less and you need cholesterol for because it's the precursor of human growth hormone and testosterone so you don't have to be afraid of it now coming to the eggs the only reason behind it is maybe not considering this challenge is one is the omega-3 and omega-6 imbalance that might happen because yeah if you're consuming really high quality eggs then it's obvious if you're combining it with some good uh, fat sources it's pretty a healthy option for doing it for a couple of days if not if the eggs uh, are not free range or really an organic sources then you mi uh, might face an issue because then you will have more omega-6s in those eggs which might bring an uh, imbalance in your body which also will bring some inflammation which we, you know, I preach all of this all the time you don't want an inflammation in your body because that's uh, stopping your fat loss goals and yeah, we come to the fat loss because that's basically why you should consider an egg fast because sometimes on a keto diet you will face a plateau and you're like I mean a plateau is the point we are not you're not losing weight not for one two three days for let's say one or two weeks you're constantly at that time even though your calories on check your workouts everything is on check so you're not it's not that you are doing something wrong but you need a change just to uh, boost your metabolism a bit so you will be in fight for mode again. So that's why I did it because I was considering I was around 81 for more than one and a half weeks and I was pretty sure that um, everything was perfectly in, on point on my diet, on my workouts and I still was not doing pretty much the changes. So I also wanted to do it again because I did it last time um, in 2018 and it was pretty good actually and this time as well from experience I can tell you it's not as bad as it seems uh, it's a bit boring for sure and the meals that I have are like basically just hard boiled eggs with some mayonnaise some cheese 
Then I also did some um, cream cheese and egg uh, pancakes. Then I have the delicious recipe that's gonna come out soon, uh, which is an adaptation of a Hungarian recipe with using only eggs, a bit of almond milk, and have a whipping cream, so it's fine. Then you have what else I had? Uh, of course, omelets and some variation of those. And pretty much that would be it. You can find actually even more recipes online, but I was not willing to do it because, you know, keep it simple, egg salad, mayonnaise, you know, some cheese, that's it. And the grand total because I wanted to see what the result after five days and a half that I did it actually is pretty good, I would say. I was starting it the day I started was 80 two and I was down for four kilograms in just six days yeah mostly I wanna just hear me out all, all those four kilograms um, fat no for that's for sure in the meantime in this first two or three days you lose again like an additional uh, lot of water weight uh, and so that's why you should supplement somehow with some magnesium and potassium and salt because you even because you have just a really small amount of nutrients coming from uh, the eggs, so no other additional fiber, no additional some vitamins, so you're really missing on some uh, electrolytes. So ever since that, you're losing a ton of weight in the water weight side part side of point. So that's why I will suggest you to um, supplement with some magnesium and potassium in the meantime. So that's. All my takes on the egg fast I guess my metabolism is raised now and uh, actually I feel really good afterwards uh, in a couple of days we're gonna go just to another trip and I also want to announce something I'm thinking about it and I was thinking about this in the past two weeks is the fact I want to start a new YouTube channel with the travels because I consider all my uh, traveling vlogs in the future will be one side of the part uh, on one side of the road which is gonna be more about photography in the future videography and all these things since I'm trying to improve as much as possible and to learn as much as possible about these subjects and to travel so I consider that doing another channel for this just for that reason it's beneficial. I don't want to mess my old YouTube channel, and not just only mess, but there are two, you know, audiences, and you don't want to combine them together. It's not a good marketing at all. You're just trying two things which are quite different, and I want to keep this as a fitness and keto related and uh, um, health channel. And here, I want to have. A good traveling channel with photography and stuff so I don't know yet what's gonna be the name uh, but I want you to comment down below what's your thoughts on it will you subscribe to the other one and you want to see both of the channels in the future so will you follow the other one as well let me know down in the comment section below and with all of that I think we are done for today and I hope Hope you enjoyed today's vlog and today's topic. You might be considering an ACFAS pretty soon. Don't forget my tips and see you at the next vlog.